Okay guys, uh, good afternoon. It's a beautiful day at the allotment. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just take you around and have a little plot tour. So basically what I've got, I've got about one and a half plots here. So I'm in the half plot which I share. So this is my plot here. Oh, it goes all the way down, down to where those blue frames are down there. And this is the half plot. Okay, so if we start down here, this is a project hopefully I can complete over winter. This is going to be where the chickens will hopefully go. So I've got to do a lot of stuff to there. I've got to put in some secure fencing. I want everything secure because we do have foxes in this site. And in fact, there is a fox that lives in there. So. I want to make it really proper secure before I even attempt to get chickens. And down here is a new area. This is going to be the kitchen area. So hopefully I want to grow some food and then cook it straight here. So here we've got an old barbecue. Some lavender here which needs some TLC. And some sage. We've got some licorice again which needs some TLC. Not looking the best. But yeah, we've got a little work top, utensils at the bottom, a little sink. I've got to get it all fixed up and stuff so I can use it. So here, this is the mushroom area, which will be, but it's been covered with bind weed and stuff. But I've managed to get loads of old logs, which I can inoculate with mushroom spawn. Got just supplies here at the back, a table to work in. And there is a beehive behind these pallets here, which hopefully... Uh, next year I can get some bees. I'm just looking at how many wasps. Well, there are a lot of wasps on this uh, flowering plant here. That's crazy. Here we've got the composters. Quite a few composters. Yes, that is a toilet seat there <laughs> as well. Then we got the shed. This isn't an, a normal shed. This is a shed slash library you can see in here here we've got a flower bed and at the back there is the wasp nest, num wasp nest number one over here we've got a hot plant which is dying back and we've got our blueberries which are gorgeous red colour and we've got an apricot tree at the back here as well this bed we have some ochre, which is a tuberous crop grown by the Incas, and it's starting to flower. Look, beautiful yellow flower. We'll wait for the first frost to hit that. Then it should be ready, good to uh, dig up. Now, these beds have been covered with wood chips as a mulch because this site is really clay. So, I've tried to raise up all the beds and use this stuff to help suppress the weeds. And as it breaks down, it should hopefully put some organic material back into the soil. Now what I'll do is I'll remove this for my uh, spring digging when it comes to it. But yeah, for now, it will attract the worms in and other creepy crawlies will do their job and start to break it down. Here we've got another bed of ochre as well. A lot of tidying up needs to be done. And in the greenhouse, there is a wasp nest and we're going to go in there. We've got a yakon plant here and this is an inca berry and it's starting to flower as you can see hopefully we'll get berries but I was a bit late this year and I neglected it so here's yakon, some yakon here beautiful tuberous crop it's where the an old polytunnel used to go down here we've got a fig tree and over here we have the polytunnel Inside we have some canners, which are flowering. We've got a grape, which I'm trying to train, and a banana plant, some workbenches. Okay guys, I just popped down to the allotment to harvest some more yakum. I didn't bring my headphones with me because I wasn't really expecting much of a harvest. But look at that. It's about eight plants here. You can clearly see the growing knobbly tubers here and you can see the tubers that we eat here 
So what I'm going to do today is simply remove the edible parts that I want to eat, take them home, and I'm going to plant the crowns and I'm going to mulch them. Now what I'm going to do as well is some I'm going to leave, obviously after I've potted up the crowns and I've mulched them, some I'm going to leave in the polytunnel and some I'm going to leave in the greenhouse and some outside because all of some of these tubers here these crowns from some of these plants have come from plants that have been in pots at the bottom of my allotment and it slopes down where there's cold air and as you can see there's no sign of frost damage whatsoever first this is the one i am most impressed with this one here oh that's a corker of a plant look at those tubers there it's my hand comparison. Look at that. So yeah, let's get cracking. Okay guys, here we have the Yagan harvest from that one plant. It's probably the best plant I've done. Um, I'm very surprised, surprised and pleased with it, uh, considering some of the other harvests haven't been as great as this one has. Uh, because I've obviously been neglecting my allotment. But yeah, very pleased with this. And what I'm going to do is simply just remove any tubers that don't look like they have growing tips and are smooth for this one. So I'm going to leave this. You see, this is a really good example of the growing tips. Yeah, all around. Can you see them all there? Beautiful. And once you pop this up, in the spring they'll start to emerge, and then we can divide this and get new. Yakon plants. So what I've done now guys is I've put the Yakon crown which is here in a pot and I'm simply gonna, just going to fill around, back fill around and that's how I'm going to keep it over the winter and I'm going to mulch it as well. Give it a nice mulch and I'm going to put lots of wood chips and stuff over the top and I'm going to also some fleece on it. See. Yeah, simple as that really. As long as it's moist, it will survive the winter and in the spring all these shoots will start to come up and that's the best time then to uh, divide it up and get more yakron plants. So there, simple as that. And this one's gonna stay in the polytunnel because it's a smaller pot. So yeah, simple as that guys. Okay guys, this is one of the Yakon crowns I've just planted back into the pot. And I'm gonna simply just give it a nice covering of mulch uh, to protect it from frost. I'm probably gonna mulch quite far up it um, as the top growth is dying back. And there we have it, one Oh, it's the Yakon crown. So hopefully we'll make it through the winter and we'll see some new growth in probably late spring. Okay, continuing where I left off um, before my battery died, we'll continue with the allotment tour. What a difference a single day can make. Look at it. Grey skies, it's foggy and it might rain. So I think we've covered this before. But just a little recap from the last part. This is Yakon here. And we have some bamboo, which we're gonna eat the shoots of next year, hopefully. And some more Yakon, which has started to flower. See here. And yeah, I've literally divided my allotment up into permanent beds and permanent paths. So the theory is, and what usually works, um, before I didn't come down here for a good few months is by walking on the ground, it usually helps to compact it more and uh, makes it harder for weed seeds to germinate and stuff. But as you can see here, we have weeds coming up and you can even see it, worm castings, which is usually a good sign of worm activity. Here is the edible forest garden patch, a little forest garden. And yesterday I was chopping down the globe artichokes, the dead um, stalks to make way for the new growth, which you can see here. And I got quite a lot I would have had quite a lot of artichokes had I'd actually harvested them, but I did not. I didn't get a chance to do it. And here are black currants, which are now dying back for the winter, dropping the leaves. And we've got some lavender, got the 
front. Down here. And we got our goji berry, which is actually has a berry for the first time this year. So looking forward to uh, picking that. Just there. And we got our white currants down here. This bed here is the Chinese artichoke bed. And they'll be harvested soon. Not sure if I can see any that are dotted up on the surface. No, I can't. But I'll show you them once I've harvested them. Uh, this bed has got frames for climbing uh, crops like runner beans, but at the moment we've got vine weed, so that needs to be sorted out. And we've got a little bit over here. We had some winds, it's literally blown off the cover of the little sofa armchair that I managed to get. I've got to make use of this little part. But yeah, that concludes the tour of the allotment. So just walk all the way up and get a good view of it. It's taken me about three years to get it like this.